The second part of section 11.2 deals with geometric probability. Geometric obviously means dealing with shapes. Very important for those of you juniors, especially they're going to be taking the ACT soon or your college entrance exams, I'm almost positive they'll have geometric probability problems on it. What is it? Well, geometric probability is a form of theoretical probability that uses ratios, which means fraction, of lengths, areas, or volumes. It uses geometric stuff in the answer. Well, first of all, maybe we ought to write down a general formula, a general rule of thumb. For geometric probability, first of all, it's a fraction. The top would be the desired area or des desired region's area, whatever that region that is specified, area, volume, whatever, divided by the grand total area. Put out here, grand total area. For instance, example number one, this little simple example I have here. Let's say I have a dart, and I'm throwing it at the dartboard that looks like that. And I ask you, what is the probability that my dart lands in the blue shaded region? Well, the blue shaded region is my desired region, so i got to find its area. Very simply, 2 times 2, which is 4 over the grand total area, which is the red square, which would be 5 times 5, which is 25. And there you go. The probability that my dart randomly lands in that blue area is 4 25ths, which is approximately a 16% chance. Now, obviously the figures are going to be more complex. So let's take a look at this one. Please pause the video and write this one down. It says three semicircles have diameters 2, 4, and 6 in the figure. If a point inside the figure is chosen at random, what is the probability that the point is inside the shaded region? Well, you can see my three semicircles. Here's the small one. Here's the medium one. And then the large one is the biggest one. Well, our formula from last time. What is the probability? So we want the desired region's area, that would be the shaded region, divided by the grand total area. Well, that's the easiest to figure out, the grand total area. So let's do that first. The grand total area, it's a semicircle. We know the area of a circle. The formula is pi times radius squared, since, but since it's a half a circle, i got to divide that by 2. All right, well, very simply, my radius is half of that, so my radius is going to be 3. So I plug 3 in for r, and I find out I get 3 squared, pi times 3 squared divided by 2, which is equal to 4.5 pi. Now, people, one thing you need to understand, your college entrance exams will not multiply by pi. Just leave it. Leave it just like that. All right, so my grand total area is 4.5 pi. Good. Well, let's take a look at the top. The top, we need to figure out the shaded region. We need to figure out this guy. Well, the only way to do that is to take the area of the large semicircle and then minus off the area of the two smaller circles. Because these pieces right here that I'm sh coloring in blue, these two pieces right here are chopped out of there. Well, the only way that you can find those areas is by minusing them off. So I'm going to erase this, and we're going to have to do our, our little work here. So I'm going to erase that and erase that. Now, the area of the large circle, we've already figured that out. The area of the large circle is 4.5 pi. You already did that. 
Now, what we need to do is find the area of this region right here, because we got to minus that piece off. It's got a diameter of 4, which makes its radius 2. So I'm going to minus off pi times 2 squared, the whole thing divided by 2, since it's half a circle. And now the last piece right here that I'm circling, it's got a diameter of 2, which makes its radius 1. So I got to minus off pi times 1 squared divided by 2. So if I do that, I get 4.5 pi minus 2 squared is 4 divided by 2 is 2 pi minus 1 squared is 1 divided by 2 is a half a pi. Okay, good. Well, what do I get when I do that? Let's see. It looks like 4.5 minus 2 is 2.5 minus another half. That equals 2 pi. Okay, very good. So there we go. The top is 2 pi. Now all i got to do is reduce it. Okay, so I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to go down here. 2 pi divided by 4.5 pi. The pi's cancel out, which leaves me 2 over 4.5 which is the same as the fraction 4 ninths. That is my probability of hitting the shaded region on that target, 4 ninths. Questions? Please ask. Last, I want you to pause the video and do this one. I want you to do this with a partner, if you can, and I want you to find the area of the blue shaded region. All right, well, here we go. The area of the blue shaded region. Again, the top is the desired region's area, and the bottom is the grand total area. That's the easiest part. Well, hopefully you found the bottom part first. Grand total area would be the area of the square. This adds up to 9 centimeters times 9 centimeters, so 9 times 9 is 81. Hopefully you got that. All right. Now, the shaded blue region. If you notice, it's a triangle. Well, the blue, this is a triangle. It has a height of 9 centimeters and a base of 9 centimeters, but you have to divide that by 2. So we have 9 times 9 divided by 2. But then we're going to have to minus off the square, or sorry, the, the rectangle that I'm shading in green, because that piece is not shaded. That is 4 times 3. So I'm going to have to minus off 4 times 3, and that should be the area of the blue shaded region. Well, what do I get? I get 81 divided by 2. 81 divided by 2 would be 40.5 minus 4 times 3, which is 12, which equals 28.5. That is my top number. And there you go. It is not reducible. Now, if you wanted to change that to a decimal, you sure can. You just go 28.5 divided by 81, and you come out with approximately 0.352. So you could leave it as a fraction, but again, we don't like decimals in there. So if you doubled that, that would be 57 over 162. We don't like decimals and fractions. One of these two answers in blue would be the most appropriate, 57 over 162, or about a 35% chance that you pick a point in the blue shaded region. And that's geometric probability, and that's how it works.